What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerdcast for the next episode of Ark Survival Evolved. My name is Flattercat, I'm happy to have you here today as we hang out for a while. We're gonna explore today, I'm gonna leave d -Lo behind for right now. I've got d -Lo parked in a semi-safe spot. Not a super safe spot, but one where I assume, I already announced my presence on the server to a number of people. And has been like, yo, if you see me or any of my pets, I'm friendly, I'm not gonna attack you. And a number of people agreed with me and they were like, okay, that's cool, I'm PvE too, so if you see my name, don't hit me or whatever, I don't wanna fight. I was like, sounds good, because that's just, is that a Carnosaur? What is that, a Stegosaur over there? What is that? Might be a Parasaur, I'm not sure. Either way, in today's episode, I just want to explore. I just want to look around and see what we can find. Let me grab some thatch right there. Alright, a little bit of thatch right here. These are just going to be for random repair materials, in case you were wondering why I'm doing it. It's just so that I have, like, random stuff in case any of my weapons break. I think, let's cross the river. Let's cross the river. I know there's megalodons in the water, so we might have to watch out. It might be, it might be sketchy. Just saying, it might be sketchier than an art class, but we've got to get over to that island somehow. I've heard that there's, I mean, last time we got eaten, it was over on that island by a carnosaur. But, I think the megalodons only go into deep water? I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like there's one over there to the left, right there in the shallows. I don't know if we'll make it. It's worth a try, I guess. We're going to get a little bit of chug, so be prepared for that. It's going to be a little bit chuggy when we cross areas, just because it has to load the next set of assets or whatever. But for right now, we've got light. We've got the ability to go to, like, another location. And so I think that swimming the river might be what I want to attempt next. Let me wait for stamina, though, and also scout it out for just a minute. I only see coelacanths down there, so we might be okay. Let's wait a minute. I'm going to chart this island out right here. You want to choose a reference point when you're exploring, by the way. The game seems to have an integrated North Star right there. I don't know if that's what that is, but it's always there. At least on my screen it is. There's a little white dot right there. I don't know if you can see it. So if you can orient by that, that works. But I use this big guy right here. The big green laser is how I tell where I am. And so if I ever get lost, I go back to the big green laser. I look for the peak where I was at, and I just go for it. All right, our stamina is back. So I think our chances of being able to get across the river are pretty good. Maybe. Our swimming skills don't appear to be like... Utterly peak. But you do swim faster with nothing in your hands, so... You know. Oh, please don't let there be any sharks out here. I really don't want to deal with any mega sharks right now. I would love to hunt some coelacanths, though. They're worth a lot of XP, and so I think that if I could kill a couple of them... Some O2 real fast. It's also important to remember that if you run out of stamina, you can't kick back up to the surface. You have to walk along the bottom. So don't run out of stamina while mid-swim. You will die. It'll be unpleasant. Alright, so on this island, we need to be careful about Carnosaurs. But since we made it over here and there's already a Coelacanth right here, I might go after him for just a minute. Ah, there it is. You killed a Coelacanth. And so our Madagascarian friend killed him off. I think it's still going to count us as being underwater, so let's be careful about that. Let me harvest them up real fast. I don't think you get hides from coelacanths. I think you only get meat, but that makes them a really, really good target if you're trying to feed pets or anything like that. I see a turtle and some other goodies. I see a chest over there that we're probably not high enough level to get into. I think that one's like level 15 or 25. We can go look. What I'm watching out for is that carnosaur that we ran into last time. That's the thing that I'm afraid of. So there's the megalodon right there. You see him right there with his dorsal fin. Yep. What was that? It looks like we have some kind of like windstorm coming through or something. I don't know. All the trees are freaking out and being all weird. What's up with the textures right now? I said the textures appear to have just like taken a dive and quit on us. I don't know. Let's maybe chop down one of these real fast. Get a little bit more weight on us. I just want to know what's around. That's all that I really care about for right now. I think... Well, Megalodon right there. Whole bunch of turtles on this island, in case you're into that. That one's male boosted because he's near a female, I think. That one's mate boosted, yeah. I think that's what it comes down to. Hey, our dodo hunt. Alright, let's get a couple dodos over here. We got time. Another spear bites the dust. We should have a few more coming at us real fast. But what I need are hides so that I can make myself a sleeping bag so that I can respawn. So I'm going to try and stay working on that. There's another one down. Another spear broken. You go through a lot of spears in this game. Believe me when I say you will go through some serious... Please don't walk close to me when I'm trying to axe things right now. The turtles are not actually that big of a threat. They're just kind of 
they turtle. What else can I say about it? They have a lot of HP, and it becomes a pain in the ass to kill them once you aggro them, especially with primitive weapon. We only have nine hides, and we need 25. Well, let's continue to have a look around. I believe that rock right there is where our base is at, so just keep ourselves oriented for right now. It's like we got some stones and some other random stuff over here. The game does have zones like an MMO has. And so in different areas of the island, you will find different types of dinosaurs. And so if your area does not have the particular dinosaur that you want, I would strongly suggest just getting out there, exploring, and finding an area that you like better. I don't know if there's any way to denote what you're near. I mean, I don't know if maybe these big pylons right here or whatever denote areas that are of different levels. But mm, I don't think about it too much. We've got a trike over there. I really just want to hunt. That's all that I care about is if we could just like hunt some stuff, I'd be happy. If I could knock out a turtle, that'd be great too. That was way short. That was way high. There you go. Hit him in his turtle butt. He's not going to be able to run us down, by the way. The turtles are pretty slow. But what I prefer to do is to knock him out with the rocks so that you don't have to risk getting hurt. And I think it takes like, there we go, 15 or 20 rocks to knock him out. But once you do that, I usually just come in with like a pickaxe or something and I just kill him with it because it's faster and you don't break him. Like the pickaxe doesn't break nearly as quickly as the spear breaks. And so I find that it's much, much, much easier just to beat him to death with a crafting tool than it is to stab him to death with a spear because you're just going to break it anyways like watch. There you go. So we killed the Carbonemus. It is now, apparently my spear didn't break. It must be super random. I'll probably go for hides, I guess, since that's what we need. Let's see what we can get out of him. I don't think we'll get that much. But we should be able to get something out of this little adventure. And so there's maybe 13 hides that we pulled out of him. That's pretty good. If we could find another turtle, I think I'd be happy. Can I pick up any of these stones that are on the ground? Because I do need to find something else to kill. I would watch out. I haven't been able to get a Pterodon just yet. I've actually tried a couple different things, but I think you're going to need like a tranquilizer gun or something for them because they go to the sky the second that you shoot them and then they don't stay around either. They just get the hell out of dodge the moment that they take any damage. I guess if you could even call this dodge, but I don't know. It might be what I call this island from now on. Dodge Island. There is. I had a Dodge Dakota for a while. I love that car. It got totaled. There's an old guy driving down the street in the middle of the night. I was I had it parked on the side of the road. There was an old guy in like some Honda sports car thing I don't know and he was doing like 60 miles an hour in a residential zone and he endoed my truck and he rammed the drive th the drive shaft through the transmission and totaled it disappointing because I love that car very very much and I just paid it off too like a week before oh, I was so upset I was so upset and the insurance company just like owned me on it it was just like no and so that was a thing that happened but you get over it you learn not to be angry about shit like that it's been years since it happened I don't know it sucks. It didn't make me happy, but then again, can't really do much about it, can you? Got a trike right there. So long as you don't touch the trike eggs, you should be all right. I don't know if I'm brave enough to go inland any further. What is that over there? Okay, so that's a parasaur over there. I don't know if there's raptors out here. I know I've seen like over raptors and things on some like areas where they're like these bigger things. They happen in the stream. I actually spawned into an area and there was like a pack of raptors there. There was like four or five of them. Oh, there's a scorpion over there. Huh. That's kind of cool. I wonder if you could train the scorpion. That'd be badass. What about you? You want to be my friend? I'm going to take a rough guess and say that you probably don't want to be my friend right now. But if I hit you with a few more rocks, you might come around. Man, I could just load you up with meat while I explore. And then we could figure out other fun things to do with each other. It would be nice to have a backup pet. And this one's a male. So if we take it back home, if I bring both of my Dilophodons along with me now. Let's, so let's say that I train this one right here. And I bring it's only level 3. Hmm, he's going to have to level up a little bit. The other Dilophodon's going to look at him like he's weak still. Let's mess around with this. I'm going to mess around with this scorpion for a minute. I don't know what it takes to knock out a scorpion. But I'm going to try. Run away real fast. 
give him the old katie katie so that he can't give me the bitey bitey oh it looks like you can train him a pulmono scorpius what does he eat meat i would assume i mean i'm not that interested so i'll probably just kill him I'll train a scorpion later. I'm not a big fan of the giant arachnids anyways. Oh, he didn't have that much HP. I don't know what I was worried about there. Oh, we got chitin. Huh. wonder what you can do with chitin. Maybe make some chitin armor. Oh, that'd be so badass to have, like, insectoid armor. That'd make me happy. Oh, there he is right there. That's one of the... Okay, so there, there are raptors on this island. We need to be careful then. Be very, very careful because that's an aggressive creature that can do us a lot of harm. We'll wait and see if the turtle is able to kill it. I think the turtle should be able to take it out no problem. We're dehydrated. So let me, first and foremost... Oh, I left my narco berries, didn't I? I left my narco berries. They should be easy enough to get a couple more of. Let me eat that real fast. Yeah, once his torpor gets down to 50%, he has a chance to wake up. And so let me get back over here real fast. I'm going to see if I can find a few more narco berries to keep him knocked out until he wakes up. And then maybe we can use him to our advantage to try and grab ourselves another bigger pet like the Velociraptor, for example. Huh? I don't know if that's a Velociraptor. It's a little big for a Velociraptor. Maybe like an Oviraptor or something. I'm not a big fan of raptors, though, so I don't really know the names of them. I only took one class on dinosaurs, and it was kind of just like a gimme course. It wasn't like a big deal. Grab a few more in here. Nope, nothing from there. Fortunately, there we go. Narco berries are what I need. If I can get like four of those, we should have more than enough sleepy dust to keep them asleep. I will point out that essentially what we're doing right now is roofing dinosaurs. Strong arm them and then we roofie them. This is how we do it. If I don't lose them in the tall grass too. That's the other fun part of this equation. Damn it. Hold on for just a second. I... He's over here somewhere, wasn't he? Oh, it's raining. I was going to say, I got worried for a minute. I got worried for a minute. Oh, no, I, I ate them myself. Son of a bitch. Okay, so... He's still taming. We've still got time. Let me see if I can find some brush over here. Any sort of scrub brush. That was a noobish mistake on my part. I didn't mean to. There we go. These will do. All we need is like four narco berries. Not to be confused with stim berries. You give them stim berries, they're going to wake up real quick. Come on. Couple more. That's all that I need. Well, he may not be that lucky. May not be that lucky. Let me go shove a couple more narco berries in him real fast. He's next to this tree over here. That makes it nice and easy. Where you at, little buddy? I need you. Yeah, you're about to wake up, aren't you? Okay, so take these narco berries real fast. And if I can just keep you all nice and drugged up. That'll buy us a couple more seconds. It's not much, but it's all that we have. But I want to have a male and a female. Because if I have both, A, I can breed them, I think. They've got like a little bit of a Pokemon thing going on. And if I can breed them, then I don't have to worry about them actually like dying anymore. I can just kind of use them as cannon fodder. Got, like 30 or 40 of the little bastards have them follow me around. Couple more Narco Berries right there. Come on. All right, go back up the hill. This rain is nice. This rain is actually a boon because I wasn't looking forward to having to go and find a way to get myself rehydrated right now. Running back to the ocean was not looking like a solid plan. All right, he should need only, like, one more tick, and we should be good. Let's go ahead and take the narco berries, and we'll go ahead and force feed it. And then one more meat, and we should have ourselves another Dilophodon. I think. Did they end up killing the raptor over there? I don't see it around, so I think the turtle might have got it. Come on, buddy. I just need a new friend. I need a new friend right now. This is going to be the greatest. I have one friend at the moment, but I would like to have two friends. I should probably go back and check on my previous friend as well, just to make sure. 
Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Wake on up, my Dilophodon friend. Dilophodizzle. Come on, buddy. Come on. You know you want to be friends with me. I'm on YouTube. You want to be on YouTube? You could be on YouTube right now. There he is. His name, Dizzle. Dizzle and D-Lo. Okay, so Dizzle's only level 3. So we're going to have to look out for Dizzle's safety. Go ahead and give Dizzle a whistle. We'll continue about our business for right now. Dizzle's got a little bit of food in his inventory. I'm curious as to what happened to this raptor over here. It might get us killed, but... I still remain very, very curious. I knew I should have brought those narco berries with me. I put them because I wasn't planning on training anything right now. But then it sort of happened, so I was like, alright, well, I guess if we're going to train them, we're going to train them. Grab a few more of these over here. I really want to find some Philomias. So if there's any Philomias on this island, that's the next thing that I want to train so that I have a mount that I can get around on a little bit faster. Because the map in this game is actually really, really expansive. So it'd be nice to have some sort of transport. Let's keep an eye out for a minute, I guess. We'll go up and over the hill. We know for a fact that there's Carnosaurs around. So I'm going to try and keep an eye out. But with this fog going on, it might be difficult for me to keep myself safe. If we stumble into one, I'll try and run him off on one of the random, like, herbivores that's running around. It looks like this island is actually pretty small. Does it map out an area when you move through it? It doesn't look like it does. I'm going to break my slingshot real fast so that I can repair it. So we can kill another turtle so that I can make my sleeping bag. So that I can take a nap because naps are great. Well, doesn't look like there's much of interest over there. Some giant dino poo on this side, just in case you wanted that. There we go, a medium dinosaur feces. Hooray! I'm a little bit nervous about Dizzle getting involved in this fight. So maybe if I put him on passive, I just want you out of the way here. Let me cycle you to be passive. Don't do anything when I do this. It's going to take a little bit of effort. And hopefully, I don't think these are communal. He should fall down pretty quickly. I think it only takes 15 rocks. You gotta get him in the face, though. I don't know if his shell actually protects him. There we go. He's knocked out. We got another Dilophodon over there. Let's see if I can get rid of this thing before the Dilophodon gets here. Come on. I apologize for having to kill you, my friend. I apologize. But I require you in order to feed my friend Dizzle here. Dizzle, I don't know if you want to go to attack my target. Uh, of course. Dizzle! Save me, Dizzle! Yeah! Dizzle to the rescue! Bite him in the ass! That's always a good strategy. Don't get spit on, though. I don't want to have to give you a bath after today. Oh, that one's pretty high level, isn't it? Okay. Well, Dizzle took him out. Nice job, Dizzle. Well done, my friend. Well done. Here, you've earned yourself some extra meat. Enjoy. Throw that on you. Have you carry that along with you. Is he still unconscious? Alright, sorry, pal. Kill him off real fast. I don't know, is Dizzle leveled? He should have leveled. That was a pretty big chunk of kills right there. Dizzle, did you just drop a deuce? No, or was that me? Somebody just dropped a deuce. Alright. Well, let's get in here for some hides real fast. Hoping we can get at least like 10 hides out of here. There we go. And so now that we got the hides, we can actually make a sleeping bag, which will be pretty cool. I'm going to craft that up real fast. And it gives you a one-time respawn. So we can put that back at our base in case that we die. That'll mean that I don't know if we die, if our pets will run all the way back to the house or not. But what it does mean is that... Oh, there it is right there. A big old chunk of level up. Probably go for a little bit more stamina, maybe? That sounds alright. And then with regards to our engrams, what do we want to do with that? What does a simple bed do? It acts as a respawn point for you and the tribe. So that would be 
a location with permanence, or we could go after wooden walls right now, or we could do a little bit of- you can make a narcotic out of stuff if you wanted to. Could also make a Fiomia. Oh, it's full. It's not Felonia, it's Fiomia. My bad. Alright. Well, they don't give you a ton of Ingram points. It's a little bit- it's a little bit skimp. But, since we're on a server where people can rob us, I think going after things to protect our stuff, like wooden walls, is probably the best thing that I could do for right now. Why can't I craft you? If you hold down the key, by the way, I don't know if people have noticed this. If you hold down the key, it'll bring up the crafting requirements so that you know what you do and don't have. Pretty cool little feature right there. I figured it was probably wood. Somebody told me that these stones right here, like some of them are textures, and I think it's right. But like some of the ones that look like they're textures are not actually textures. It's been a pretty fun adventure. I like exploring in this game and just like finding stuff. It's a blast. Make myself a new spear here. Probably make two or three of them. There we go. And so with our craftables, let me go ahead and we'll go with two more spears maybe. And that'll keep us locked and loaded. Our weight is at 55, so we're getting a little bit close right now. I may have to actually put some stuff onto Dizzle for the trip back. Let's talk to Dizzle real fast. Dizzle, what you got for me? Dizzle, let me have you take the sleeping bag because that's actually using up. That's a really, really heavy sleeping bag. Oh my god. What's it made out of bricks? My lord. Let's go back over here, give you the chitons and all the other little things that I have carrying around with me. Alright. And so now let's go down and get some water. If we can find anything else to hunt, that's absolutely fantastic and I would love to do it. But if there's nothing else to fight with, we may just head home after this one. I don't know. I mean, the island has been enlightening. We haven't found anything new over here, unfortunately. Which is what I was actually trying to document. I was trying to find a location where maybe we could find some of the phenomias or whatever the hell they're called. Over here, we have another one of our friends. I'm going to pull from right there. And once he spits, we're going to get in here. There it is. And actually, I saw one of these guys run up in here and, like, eat the things that were on the ground. I don't know if he's doing it right now, but I've seen him do it before. A little bit more XP for him and for me. Let's go see what level this cache is. I don't think that I can loot it. I think this is one of the high-level ones, but we could take a look. Level 15, so yeah, we're not quite there yet. Not quite there. Wish that we were, but we aren't, so... You kind of live with the capabilities that you've got for right now. If we see dodos or anything else, so there's a dodo over there. I would suggest picking up some rocks along the way too so that we can fight with maybe a couple more. Your dinosaurs can swim, by the way. You don't have to worry about it. They dog paddle their way out. I don't know if it's natural or unnatural or what the hell's going on. I assume that it's dinosaur witchcraft whenever they swim like that. They're little stubby legs, but what do I know about anything? Kill you real fast. Take whatever I can from you. Make sure you don't lose your energy underwater. Once again, I'm going to reiterate that point because when you're fighting, you lose stamina. I don't want to do that. I wanted to here. Go with that right there. There we go. That's the proper tool. That's the proper tool. I've been called a proper tool before. But then again, I think that's just because I'm assertive about the things that I like and what I want. I don't know. I don't think that I'm an asshole. I just think that I know how to be like, this is what I want and this is what I like. I know how to be expressive, I guess. But not overly so, maybe. Go on a couple more hunts here. See how many dodos we can get out of this situation. A couple more hides, maybe. There we go. That looks lovely. Definitely thinking the big game. Upgrading to, like, the bigger things is probably the smarter plan here now. I don't know exactly where I am, but I kind of know where I am. I know we got to cross the island. Oh, there's a big-ass alligator over there. Sometimes the alligators attack stuff that they can't handle, and then they get killed, and then you get to harvest a whole bunch of stuff off an alligator. It's pretty awesome done it before. Made me happy. It was a good day for Splattercat. Grab a few more stones so that I have the ammo. And then we'll find ourselves another turtle. There he is right there. Let's kill off this turtle. That'll give us another grip of XP. And it'll also give us another opportunity to get some more hides and some more meat. And yeah, it looks close enough to me. There you go. Get him, Dizzle. Get him. All you, Dizzle. All you. 
You grab his ass while I grab his head. Pick an end. Treat this thing like amateur porno. Everybody pick an end. Yeah, I'd prefer if you fight me, please. There we go. Let's stay on point here. Ah. I don't think he's knocking out. Oh, no, he is. There we go. Okay. So now that he's out, me and Dizzle should be able to consume his flesh and destroy his eye holes. There's some. There we go. Well done, Dizzle. Well done, my friend. That was a big piece of game for you right there. But you know what? The game is thick. The game is thick when it comes to Dizzle and the way that he handles his business. Okay. And so now I think it's probably a good idea if we head back home and we just, like, check and see what's going on. I'm going to make his damage a little bit higher. He's going to be a DPSer by comparison to his, I guess, dino wife who's going to have high HP and just be survivable. Oh, hey, there's one that we can actually loot right there. It hasn't come down all the way yet. You actually got to wait for it. What will happen is it will descend from on high. It will come on down. The crate will come down and be like, mama. Like so. And so anyways, I'm going to wait for it. We'll come back in the next episode once it comes down, all right? My name is Splattercat. This is Ark Survival Evolved. I'll see you all next time. Hi, do, everybody.